Imagine coming into school, walking into your health class, and asking Ms. Schuller or Ms. Knights for a condom. What an incredibly awkward situation. Everyone in the room knows what your plans are for the weekend. If condoms were to be distributed in schools, it would only be a distraction from the focused environment that schools should bring. Although the affirmative did make some strong arguments as to why schools should give up birth control, their plan is extremely impractical and undesirable because it leaves no room for concerned parents and forces schools to spend superfluous money. The plan presented by, affirmative, by the affirmative side explained that parents have the, right, ha, have the right to have their child opt out of such a program, but are they really out of it? The answer is no. If a child wants free birth control given out by the school, they can easily get it by simply asking a friend to get it for them. This leaves the parent with no clue as to what their child would be up to because, as the affirmative mentioned, they've opted, out of their they've opted their child out, assuming that their child will have no access to the birth control. And maybe the affirmative would put in a condom vending machine, making kids pay for the condoms at some discounted price. This really leaves the parent with no idea, because unless someone monitors the condom dispenser, who really knows who buys from it? And even if there is someone to monitor it, again, anyone can just ask a friend to do it for them. Or maybe their plan is a combination of these two ideas, making you pay and having an opt-out choice. But does this still really prevent a child whose parents do not want them receiving birth control from receiving it? I think you can tell where this is going. No parent can truly cut their child off from receiving birth control because, well, kids are sneaky and know how to get what they want, even if, especially if, their parents don't want them to have it. Another issue with the affirmative plan is that any and all birth control could potentially be made available to students. This, is, this includes, but is not limited to, condoms, the pill, and plan B, the morning after pill, some of which cause harmful side effects, such as dizziness and vomiting. But even if a child is a part of the program, they still have access to these harmful products. Not, on, not only are they harmful, but also, a parent really has no way of knowing just what type of protection their child is receiving. Patient privacy makes it so that a parent, who maybe has given consent for a child to receive birth control, does not tr truly know exactly what type of treatment the child is receiving. To give the pill, plan B, or a condom to a child without the total knowledge of a parent just seems scary from a parental point of view. This is not only an issue from a parental perspective, but from a purely fiscal perspective as well. Who is really going to pay for all this birth control? You are with taxes. So parents do, who do not want to have their ch child receiving birth control have to pay for it for other people. The affirmative might argue that, th that people everywhere pay for taxes for services they don't use, but do they usually pay for taxes that they don't believe in, in some shape or form? For example, a child with a a parent with a child in private school still pays taxes for their local public schools, but that, but that parent does not believe, but does that mean that that parent does not believe in education? No, they simply made a choice to send their child somewhere else. With birth control, moral beliefs are online, forcing people to pay for something that they don't use and don't believe in. The affirmative might also argue that the students will pay for it at a discounted price. Keyword, discounted. Someone still needs to make up for the rest of the money, and that will come from taxes. Many people, such as the affirmative, think that condoms in schools will be all beneficial, but they won't. The discomfort that will exist between students and the teachers whom they ask will be so visible and disrupt the focus of school. Although it sounds ideal, giving students protection with parent consent, there is really no parent consent and the protection is minimal. To truly protect students, birth control should not be given out in schools. Thank you and vote negative.